with the revealing of the 2016 Yamaha Wolverine R spec. The off-road world is on fire with speculation, excitement, and criticism. There are those who ride in wooded trails not restricted to 50 inches in width, who are excited about the unit's promise to deliver extreme trainability. Although there have been others quick to criticize Yamaha for not building a 1,000cc leader car to contest the Polaris, Can-Am, and Arctic Cat 1000s. Some have criticized Yamaha for barely stepping beyond the 700cc displacement range. And while Yamaha claims to have developed the Wolverine R-Spec to fulfill customer demands for a recreational sport utility machine, the nearly equally priced machines Yamaha compares it to are both 800ccs. Looking beyond displacement, the Wolverine R-Spec is lighter than the Can-Am Commander or Kawasaki Terra-X. The Wolverine's new chassis offers 11.4 inches of ground clearance, maximized by wide arc high clearance A-arms, and the sides of the chassis rub swept 2 inches for added clearance over obstacles that the tires are traversing. Rear wheel protectors protrude from the bottom of the chassis on both sides, helping to prevent the rear tires from snagging with obstacles that you're maneuvering around. Yamaha even armor plated the entire underside of the frame, making it easier to glide over large obstacles that you simply can't clear or maneuver around. A 60.6 inch width and 81 inch wheelbase come with the promise of stable nimble handling, aided by lighter steering and reduced bump feedback on the EPS equipped model. The long travel KYB shocks offer class leading wheel travel with 9.6 inches up front and 10.6 inches out back. On paper, the Wolverine R-Spec offers class leading suspension adjustability as well with spring preload, high and low speed compression and rebound damping adjustment. With two and four wheel drive featuring a lockable front differential available at the flip of the switch, we're already confident in the drivetrain. But does the fuel injected 708cc four valve double overhead cam equipped four stroke engine really deliver the exciting recreational driving experience that Yamaha claims? And does the machine really set a new standard in off-road capability? We were fortunate enough to talk to a guy who's driven the Wolverine that doesn't work for Yamaha. Tom Bellamy knows his way around the off-road world with multiple vintage motocross titles to his credit. Tom is also the owner of Beachmont Motorsports in Cincinnati, Ohio, so Yamaha sort of works for him. On one hand, we might expect him to play up the machine's performance, but on the other, after 45 years of experience in the business, Tom understands that selling someone a machine that they won't be happy with can lose a lifetime customer. So we have some confidence in his opinion and honesty. Hi, I'm Tom Bellamy. I had a chance last week to go down to Noonan, Georgia to ride the new Wolverine R-Spec. We went down to Noonan, Georgia to go through the Yamaha plan. Then we went to a shooting range. It was an 1,800 acre shooting range where Yamaha had a closed course, about a four mile course that had a little bit of everything, uphill, downhill, straightaways, tight turns, rocks, and it was just fabulous. I've ridden most of the side-by-sides out there, uh, exclusively, uh, definitely with the Yamaha Rhino and the new Viking. Uh, I've rode some Polaris's, I've got extensive time on Hondas, I, I think I've ridden just about everything. The new motor that Yamaha is putting in this is a little bit bigger than the Viking that's now out. Uh, it has tons of low end, good mid-range, but I tell you what, when you get it on the top end, it's very, very impressive. Uh, just revs to the moon uh, and very, very nice. Talking about the suspension on the new Wolverine, fully adjustable. Uh, we didn't have the opportunity to, to adjust it. We had in the medium uh, settings, but I tell you what, going over small bumps, big bumps, rocks, it handled it up. It's very, very impressive. Uh, and I love the fully adjustable suspension, which is going to be the top in the class. There's no other unit out there that has this adjustable suspension like the new Yamaha Wolverine. We hit a couple of small bumps, uh, one rut probably 18 inches deep. I thought for sure we were going to break the front wheel off. It just hardly bottomed out, kept on going. Very, very impressive uh, what this vehicle did for us. Uh, they've got probably two inches of sag into this vehicle, so that means going into the corner turning, the rear end's gonna sit on the ground. Uh, riding with three other people, 
uh, in three different vehicles. I could see the guy in front of me. I could watch that unit stick to the ground. That rear wheel hardly came off the ground. Either side, either sliding sideways, hitting a stump, hitting a rock, going up and down hills over rocks. The rear wheels just stick on the ground. It's going to give you better traction. It's going to give you better stability. The braking is the most phenomenal braking I've ever had on a four-wheeler. The dual piston calibers all the way around. It just, it steered, it turned, you hit the brakes, you could throw it sideways. It, anything you wanted to do with this vehicle, it would do. The interior of the new Wolverine is just awesome. Uh, two bucket seats, you're sitting down in this vehicle. Very, very comfortable. A great bar for your passengers to hold on to. And one nice thing about this is the hood on this vehicle. It's, the hood is cut down, so if you're going up a hill, you can see where you're going. Unlike some of the vehicles with a tall hood, a little harder to see going up and down the hills. At first, when Yamaha introduced this uh, in the office, I saw what was coming out and I'm thinking, do we, is this what we need? But after riding this vehicle, the way it turns and steers and handles, it's, it is phenomenal. It's very, very impressive. I think it's going to be the class, I know it's going to be the class leader in the 7 to 800 cc with its braking, with its motor, with its comfortable seating. It's going to be tops. There's not going to be a unit out there that's going to be better than this Yamaha, guaranteed. Please subscribe to UTV On Demand's new YouTube channel and check our website in the coming months for our first test of the Wolverine R-Spec. For more information on the 2016 Yamaha Wolverine R-Spec, pay a visit to yamaha-motor.com.